the ruling Georgian Dream Party's billboards seek to present a stark choice for voters. On one side, images of destruction from Russia's war on Ukraine. On the other, images of a prosperous Georgia. The caption reads, no to war, choose peace. Georgian Dream accuses its rivals of being part of what it calls a global war party. They claim the opposition would drag the country into war with Russia and that the opposition is, in this sense, an agent of the West, part of the global war party. Georgian Dream stands by its campaign. No representative of Georgian Dream has ever stated that the West entirely represents the Global War Party. What has been said is that some individuals, whether politicians, business people or other actors, might support ongoing wars, including entangling Georgia in war. Russia's war on Ukraine looms over the October 26th election. Moscow's forces still occupy 20% of Georgian territory following their 2008 invasion of the country. To many, the election presents a choice on Georgia's future path, align with the West or with Moscow. It's a choice about what kind of country we want to live in. The West represents democracy, while Russia stands for authoritarianism. Polls suggest more than 80% of Georgians want to join the European Union. The bloc granted Georgia candidate status last year, but relations have soured fast. The EU effectively froze membership talks after Georgia reintroduced a so-called foreign agent law in April, which the West says mimics Russian legislation used to clamp down on dissent. A violent crackdown on subsequent anti-government protests prompted the US and EU to impose sanctions on Georgian officials. EU lawmakers accuse the government of pivoting towards Russia. Georgian Dream rejects that accusation and says the country is on track to join the EU by 2030. I think these issues are temporary and we can find common ground with both the EU and the US. For the first time, lawmakers will be elected by full proportional representation. Many opposition parties have united under four broad coalitions. Polls suggest no single party or bloc will gain a majority amid public distrust of the entire political class. Can the opposition coalesce to oust Georgian dream? I believe there are still more than enough arguments to build a consensus around the need to change the government, despite this mistrust. Courted by the West, by Russia and increasingly by China, Georgia faces a choice over its future path. The election is seen as a crucial milestone for a country on the front line of growing geopolitical tensions. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, Tbilisi.